where, where I'm going to take these likes are going to be through the roof. So you're not going to need any more at all. So after okay. this, every dollar you 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 know you ever put into Facebook will be for local lead capture, and and lifetime is what you'll you'll be setting up. Gotcha. Because a lot of people a lot of people go daily budget, mm-hmm. but there's certain algorithms, and Facebook is just a com- a complete machine. And so when you when you take off the restrictions of a 24 hour period of Facebook having to spend and you just give them flexibility of, okay, maybe they'll spend $9 today. Maybe they'll spend $7 today. Maybe they could have spent 15 bucks today because there was so much momentum, but you capped it at 10, right? So when you go lifetime, you just give them the flexibility to spend accordingly. And and the ROI is much, much greater. Gotcha. So, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And so, and, and then also just to, I wanted to touch on it yesterday, but we'll say that for, for our real Facebook call. Cause what we'll do is we'll touch on, we'll, we'll talk about Karcher here. I want to get you up and going with that. And then let's schedule another call and we'll dive deep into Facebook. Because okay. I don't know, I don't know how, how much you know about the ad side of it all, but if there, you probably, you probably already know a ton, but if there's anything I can maybe, you know, answer or, or clear up, um, I can definitely do that because what I see a lot is people when they run an ad, nine out of 10 times, they're choosing the wrong objective and and it all starts here. So you may have the best image. You may have the best video. You might write out the best text. It's a beautiful property. It's a listing. You can have all this stuff in your favor, but if the, if step one isn't, isn't in place, which is actually, I would have to go to the, actually, um, well, let me go back to the, actually, I'd have to start all over, but you, you know what I mean. You, you know what right. I mean. As far as, right. as, far as when you click the button, when you click on the actual um, green button and then you go to objectives and you ch- actually try to create them. This right here, yeah, this right is there. Where nine out of 10 people get it wrong. And this is step one. So you can have, you can have step two correct, which is the ad set. That's the targeting, the budget, the demographics. You can have all that freaking great. You can have over on the third step, the ad, you can have the best image, best video. But if you don't choose the right objective here, the entire ad is is, is off. Mm-hmm. It's not going to perform at all. So so that leads me to a question: Which objective have you been used to running? Yeah. So you know what, man? It's funny because I, I watched a video with you recently, and you said that conversions is the best way to go. Yeah, and yeah. I was actually always going like the lead gen, and I think I did like maybe traffic once. I was definitely mm-hmm. doing the lead gen a lot. Yeah. Um, and then traffic. So I. Those are the two main ones that I was choosing, Good. but I didn't have a, um, it was just like, I'd get the Facebook leads and then I'd have to export them to an Excel yes, spreadsheet. Dude. Yeah. It was a yes. pain in the ass. <laughs> That's what I don't like. That's why I don't go Legion. You, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. That's the whole reason why I just, I just have it flow through a landing page and that lead goes straight into my CRM, my autoresponder, and it just flows much more smoothly without me having to lift a finger. Right. That that that's the difference. That's the whole difference. So yeah. So now that you have a landing page, it's it's conversions. So um, one one thing that I also want to throw in there, and I go, I know we'll talk more about Kartra, but one thing I I do want to just kind of um, you know, mention is as far as recommending what your first ad should be, because <clears throat> I know you have a, a a bunch of you know different ad listings or whatever. The very first ad that I highly highly recommend that you roll out is video views. And an okay. intro. So it would simply be you pulling out your phone and introducing yourself. Okay. It's a simple intro. It's not a pitch. It's more of an introduction. Who Chris is, my background, my experience, my passion, why real estate, why Little Elm, why, why, why Remax. You know, just getting to know Chris, that's a, 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 a simple, effective two to three minute video. And it's, it's, it's super powerful, man. You run that as video, as ad number one. So even though you have a ton of other ads running, look at it as a, as a clean slate. I would, I would plan on rolling a video out like that if I were you on June 1st. Okay. June 1st, you, you, you pull out your phone, you make a simple video, man, nothing fancy at all. And you introduce yourself and, 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 and you run that under video views and you run it for, you run it for $10 a day for 10 days you put a hundred bucks at that video and the power the power the what's so effective about that is the fact that you you capture an audience of people who actually watch it so when you target little elm for example at at that budget you'd get thousands and thousands of people you'd probably you'd probably get seven to ten thousand people to view that video and then those 
viewers become your custom audience in which you show them ad number two, ad number three, ad number four. So Facebook, it's all about creating custom audiences. So if we run one ad, I want to be able to create a custom audience of those who either engaged in it or viewed it. Mm -hmm. Because if I can get you to watch me on video number one, and I can get you to watch me for X amount of seconds, let's say it was a one minute video. I would create a custom audience of those who watched half of it. Because for you to sit there and watch 30 seconds of me, there was some type of, some type of interest there. There's no way you're gonna just sit there on social media and watch 30 seconds of some random person if you had absolutely no interest at all. Right. And that's video number one. So we create a custom audience and then those people, let's say, let's say 8,000 people viewed it, but only, only, only 3,000 actually watched 50% of it. Those 3,000 people need to be in a custom audience and they need to see ad number two. Mm -hmm. And it all starts with an intro. So if I can introduce myself, introduce myself to my neighbors and, and people that are in my area, they're going to see me. And then, and then, and then, and then they're going to see ad number two and they're going to see ad number three. And I'm, all I'm going to do is create custom audiences around those who are engaging in every single ad and, and my whole strategy is a weekly ad. So if I can create custom audiences of all these people who are watching me weekly, what ends up happening is people become indoctrinated and they feel like they know you. Mm -hmm. That's just basic science and psychology. After an individual sees your video for a few times, I talked, I touched on this yesterday. They, they feel like they know you, they feel like they like you and they feel like they trust you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's only because you're retarding them. It's only because you're retargeting them. Most people, nine out of 10 Facebook advertisers that are just starting out trying to run an ad here and there are not building custom audiences and they're not retargeting those custom audiences. And that's why their ads don't, don't, don't return a, you know, they don't see an ROI. Gotcha. So we'll get more into that, man. I'll, I'm going to help you set up all that. Okay. So we'll get into that later, but let's, let's jump into your culture. Do you want to um, fire any questions you have regarding culture? Let me know. And do you want to share your screen? Do you want me to walk you through on your end? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let me stop share. Uh, let me see, man. Go ahead and pull up yours, and I'll just kind of walk you through and kind of touch on some basics that will help you get, get off to a fast start. Okay. Uh, let me see, man. I got a – since I, I did a new login. Oh, okay, that's right. Um, it still had my old information on here. Let me see. Okay, cool. Um, I'm logged in here. All right, man. So I've actually never shared my screen before, man. How do I how do I do that? Just um in the Zoom window, you should see um oh here here yeah. green button. I think it's green on your yeah head. share screen yeah. And then um, screen one. Okay. Do you see my screen? Awesome. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Okay. Cool, man. So um <clears throat> what I um. What I emailed you was just share codes. Um, and, and so those are just simple funnels that I already have set up and, and all you got to do is go in there and edit, you know, um, but that's kind of a good, a good jump start. But okay. let's kind of, um, yeah, and you know what, pull up, um, I would say, I would, I don't want to, I don't want you to, because I'm actually recording this. I don't want you to actually share your email screen. So Later on, I have a video on how to import those share codes. So I'll just, I'll send you that video later on, on okay. how to import it. Cause I, I sent you the, the, yeah, I sent you a link, but I want you to know how to import them. In fact, you know, I can easily walk you through right here. Click on, click on my campaigns on the left. This is what you'll do. When you look at the email that I sent you uh, about an hour ago. You, yeah, I got I, I got that email pulled up on my other screen. Perfect. Okay. So then see if you can just copy the code. Yep. Without sharing anything. Yeah, I got that code. Awesome. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on, so we clicked on my campaigns on the left. We're going to click on available campaigns top. Uh, okay. Middle. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And then right here, first of all, Kartra already has a ton of funnels. Now, in your business, you're not going to really need these extensive you know, funnels with 15 different pages. Like your, your business is very, very basic and simple. It's a, it's a landing page, it's a thank you page. And it's getting that person on my email list so I can then nurture that list, build a relationship, and get them to schedule a call with me. So that, that's as basic as it gets, in my opinion. 
these are way more kind of just, you know, more pages, more, more what they call assets, which are tags, sequences, lists. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but my point is, is that they're all done for you. So, so you can always come in here and look at different, different funnels and import them. These are all done for you. You can import them and use them and just edit. So Kartra does an amazing job on just creating the, the funnels already for you. But again, people like me that create them, create them as well, I share mine with, with you as well. So click on the green one, click on import, that green button, yeah. And then all you're gonna do is, is import that share code. Let's okay. do the, um, which one did you copy? Let's do, the, let's do the, the listing one. Or do you have any listings right now? Uh, so yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so it says, hey Chris, here's a link to my share codes. And then so I clicked that link and then it took me to- A page, right? Yeah, how to yeah, capture so, leads. Yeah, if you scroll down, if yep. you scroll down, you'll see the different funnels. Yep. And you can even click on it. It says view funnel. You can click on it and it'll take you to the funnel. Oh, uh, yep. I see the code now. Yeah. yeah. Underneath. So copy that code. The listing funnel code? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. So click on um, next. There we go. And then you're about to import the campaign listing funnel. Okay, cool. So begin import. So let me explain this part real quick. It's coming with three pages. So the three pages is the landing page, the thank you page, because as they hit the landing page, they enter their name and email, then they go then they go to a thank you page. And then also the third page is a is a um, appointment confirmation page. So the way I have this set up is we're marketing a listing. They go to that landing page. They enter their name and email. They go to a thank you page on that thank you page. I have a slot for a video. So what I would highly, highly encourage you to do is a quick 30 second video on the thank you page. And here, here's, here's a, a, an example of, of that video. If I was the agent, you go to my landing page, you're inquiring on a listing, you click submit, you go to a thank you page. It's me on video. Hey guys, thank you so much. This is David. I am the listing agent on this beautiful property, 777 Platte Boulevard. I just wanted to introduce myself and give you some details on this property. And so it would be that type of simple, simple video, but there's a few call to actions in that video. So this would be a video where I'm introducing myself. I'm saying thank you for inquiring on this listing. Number three, so number one, I'm introducing myself. Write this down because this is- this Yeah, is I am. This is for the thank you video, which is on the, on the second page. Okay. Number one, thank you for inquiring. Number two, just a, a brief intro on who you are. You're the listing agent, you're with Remax, blah, blah, blah. Number three is to check your email. Say, hey, I just emailed you all the specs on this beautiful property, the address, photos, everything you need to know. That's number three, I just emailed you. So check your email. And then number four, click the button below to schedule your private showing or your virtual showing or whatever you guys are doing. But that's the fourth call to action is to click the button below because on that thank you page, there's a button when they click on it, it takes them to the calendar, to your calendar that I'm actually including in this funnel. It takes them to your calendar where they can schedule a, a showing. And then once they schedule a showing, when they enter their name and email, they put their best time, their phone number, they click submit, then they go to a thank you for scheduling page. That's the third page. So, so the list, there's two lists. One list is the fact that they inquired, they're on this list, so 777 Plaza Boulevard. These are people on a specific list. Those are the people who inquired. And then the second list that's included is the calendar list, the people who actually scheduled an appointment. Those are two different lists. Okay. Okay, and then the form, two different forms. They fill out the form for, for on the landing page and then they also fill out the form on the calendar, two different forms. And then the sequence is just the, the autoresponder. So what I would have set up, I, I set up the template there, but you'd have to just go in and, and put some basic emails, but I would set up maybe, 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 maybe three to four emails. And so that's the sequences. So the moment they opt in on this listing, right away they get an email that's going to trigger right away. And that email is coming from the form. That's the first email that's triggered in the form. Hey Dave, thank you so much for inquiring on seven, seven, you know, seven plaza Boulevard. Here's some information. And, and that's what you told them in the video. So in the video, you told them to check their email. That's the first email that they got, but the sequences that's email number two, 
email number three, email number four. Those are the emails that are, that are going to come out tomorrow. So tomorrow, I should get another email. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, guess what? The property is still on the market. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Hey, and by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a private showing. Can't wait to talk to you. The next day, third email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Chris. Hey, man, I'll, I'll tell you what. This property is not going to last. I haven't heard from you. If you're interested, let me know. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. So all it is is a handful of emails that, 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 that you want to set up for sure, and that's the sequence. Gotcha. That's your drip, and then, and then obviously the calendar. So go ahead and just click the green begin import. Okay, perfect. So now, so that's how that's how you import. Um, and as you, I don't know, are you building a team or do you have a team or is that your plan or anything like that? Yeah, right now it's just me. I mean, I'd like to build a yeah, team yeah. because it's just, yeah, you know, I, I, it's as just you being busy. But... Funnels, bro, you're going to be able to share these funnels with your team in the future. Perfect. So that, and this is how you import it for them. So hit close. Now what we'll do is we'll take, actually we got to, um, so now, now it's here, but we have to activate it. So gotcha. click those three dots right there. Um, yeah, click those three dots and then click on um, deploy. And then you could just put, you could, yeah, you could just abbreviate it or, or put, I guess, a prefix is for your reference only. So should it be like the listing that I have or? Yeah, you can. Perfect. That'd be great. Perfect. Okay. No, yeah, it's actually pretty. <laughs> I'll just do excursion because it didn't let me type too much. Yeah, it's kind it of. cuts strange. me off. Okay. Okay, cool. So campaign name, listing funnel. Perfect. And then just click import. And you can always change that prefix as well. Okay. And you can even delete it. Once we're in it, then you can even delete it. Gotcha. So, okay, so now, now that in a few seconds, you'll have that entire funnel. And then let me show you where to see it. So go ahead and, go ahead and play this. It's like a short little intro. Okay. Congratulations. The campaign has been successfully deployed. Please note that a few new assets have been created in your account, and you might need to tweak them before they are ready to use. In the right edge of your browser, you will see a new tab with all of the steps you need to follow. Please go over them one by one, and you will be done before you know it. Cool. Okay, cool. So now, let's click on, yeah, you can exit out of that, and then let's click on My Communications. This is where our list will be and our sequence. And also, this is where we would send broadcast, which is one-off emails. So, um, like in my case, what I have is I'll have you go to a landing page, you opt in, you're on my list. Mm -hmm. I'll also have a sequence tied to that list, and that's my email autoresponder. So in my in my funnels, I'll have like five emails in the sequence, ten emails in the sequence. I have some funnels that have 25 emails in the sequence. So once you opt into my funnel, you're getting you're going to hear from me every other day for the next 50 days. You right. know? So you don't have to go that extensive, but that's just one of my funnels, for example. But in here, my communications is the list, the sequences, and the broadcast. So the broadcasts are just one-off, one-off emails. So even if an if if a person if a lead is in a sequence, it doesn't matter. I can send a broadcast to whoever anytime and. I normally send broadcasts when, when something just random comes to mind and I want to hit everybody on the list. And that's what's going to happen with you. You're going to have a listing come up. You're going to have a pocket listing. You're going to have something that shifts in the market that you just want to get out to your list. That's a broadcast. So if you, so right here under leads, you have list leads tags, which I'll, I'll tell you what tags are. But then if you hover over communications at the top, just hover over, this is where your broadcast is. That's so, so you'll click on broadcast if you want to send a one-off email. Gotcha. And then the sequences, click on sequences. And there, there's the sequence. So I'll show you how to work that. And then the automations, the automations is super, super powerful. Automations is, let's say, for example, a person, let's say they, they, um, in your case, it would be, let's say a person is in a sequence. Okay. So they're in the sequence. They're on the list, 777 Plaza Boulevard. 
they're on the sequence, 7 7 Plaza Boulevard, but then a person ends up scheduling an appointment for that listing. Now, you have, let's say you have 25 leads in the sequence. One of them actually scheduled an appointment. I'm just giving you a random example. That one who actually scheduled an appointment is tagged and automated, meaning I set up an automation where if anyone schedules an appointment, they're automatically unsubscribed from this sequence. Okay. That's an automation. Because if, gotcha. if you inquire on this listing and you get two emails in this sequence and then you schedule an appointment, I don't need you seeing any more emails. Right. Yep. Right. So I need to take you off of that sequence and I don't want to manually do any of that. So I set mm -hmm. automations. Nice. And, and that's why in your case, perfect example, I have an automation set up where in your case with you, you came into one of my funnels, which was you actually came into digital agency blueprint. That was the first funnel that you came into, which, which has, which has nothing to do with real estate. But you came into that funnel because of that's the link you clicked on mm -hmm. in my YouTube video. I have an automation set up where if anyone becomes a client, then they're automatically off that list. Gotcha. Because I don't need you getting more emails regarding digital right. blueprint when you're yep. already a client. Yeah. So those are automations. So if, if A happens, then make sure B happens. Automation. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. that's super powerful, and, and you'll we'll get more into that later. But no, yeah, I know I know exactly what you mean, and I have a bomb bomb account set up with automations. Yeah. And it, yeah. anytime I turn somebody into a lead, it doesn't remove them. I have to go in there and physically oh, remove no them. No way, dude. Yeah, oh, so, serious? yeah, so that that's a oh pain in the God. butt, man. So this is a time saver for sure. Oh, bro, big big time. Without automations, I'd be lost. Like I'd be lost for sure. Yeah. For sure. If I had to manually micromanage everything, mm -hmm. I'd be lost. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you experienced that. that thing. Yep. And then analytics is you can check who's opening the emails. You can check who's not opening the emails. You can check who unsubscribed. You can, you can check everything in the analytics and it's all real time. So I can send an email out right now and see in two seconds who opens it. Nice. Okay. So that's, that's analytics. So um, we'll come back to the sequences, but um, click on my pages to the left. So that's my communications. Okay. Um, and then my products, you don't really need to focus on that because that's for that's more for people that are selling digital products. So uh, okay. in my Got case, it. I have a digital book. I have a digital membership course. So that's all under my products. But you'll, you'll spend most of your time, you'll spend all your time in my communications, my pages, my forms, um, my calendars, my videos, and that's it. Gotcha. That's it. Um, and then also my, my affiliate promos, once you do get this up and going and if it, it and, and, and when it does start working for you, obviously you'll probably get a little fired up and want to start sharing it with other people and just telling people, Hey man, yeah, Karcher is what I've been using to capture leads. It's just going to naturally come out. Mm -hmm. So before you even tell anybody about that, make sure you set up your affiliate site because you might as well make a little bit of something. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, absolutely. And that's under my affiliate promos. So you can just start sharing your affiliate link and when they sign up, you get, you get paid. So, um, that's really, really cool. But that's what I've been building for the past year or whatever, year and a half. And, and that's what I'm all in it for is that residual income. Yeah, absolutely. So, so these are the pages. So my pages. So you got the landing page, the thank you page, which is that video that I was talking about. And then you got the, the, um, the call confirmed. And, mm -hmm. and so with those, it's all the templates. You can easily take out that image. You can change the text. But as basic as, as it is, is as basic as you want it. Like you don't need it fancy at all. It's not a website. It's a web page. Now you can get crazy fancy with it for sure. There's a ton of pages where we can get fancy, but the whole purpose of a funnel, the whole purpose of a landing page is to keep it basic right. with, with one damn button. You click on that one damn button. That's all there is. One button. <laughs> click on that and, and give up your name and email. After that, I'll tell you about everything else. Right. You know, after that, I'll send you to my website. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so these are the, the pages and then, and then you can click that green button, click the green one and you can always um, play around with it and, and create even more pages. And all of them are done for you. Like the templates, you don't have to start anything from scratch. So if you click on squeeze pages, there's just a bunch of templates that are already there. You just change out the color, change out the image, change out the text, but the headline, the title, everything is already in place. 
and, and gotcha. so you can just just um, you know create around it, edit, and just and just build something really 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 cool. So squeeze pages, and then you got video sales pages. What you're gonna what you're gonna experience? I want you to open my emails over the next few, yeah over the next few days. Actually, it's gonna be the next the next the way I have mine set up with the list that you're on in my system is you're now on my real estate list. Okay. So you're going to be receiving an email every, I think I have it set up every five days for the next, for the next 30 days. Okay. So you're going to get, you're going to get, you're going to get about five emails. You got, you got one email already, which was yesterday. And then I, and then I think I have it set up where there's five more emails that come out, but what you're going to experience in my email sequence, and this is what I'm going to encourage you to do is, and, and this is just going to happen as you get more comfortable with video, right? You got to be, you got to get more comfortable with video first with, with what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Um, this is powerful because it allows me to track you through Facebook as well. So as I'm running Facebook ads, I'm able to track and create custom audiences of all those who are landing on my pages. So for example, I don't just track it through my landing page or my thank you page, the Facebook pixel, but I also put the pixel on these pages right here. And the way I use these pages, these video sales pages is in my emails. So as I send out emails and you're going to, you're going to see my emails come out. As you see that email, you read the email, you click on the link. It takes you to a page on that page. It's me on video explaining that next step. So the reason why I have it on video is number one, it's me on video. So now I'm just building more trust. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I'm taking you to a page and not my YouTube channel is because on that page, I can track you with Facebook. So the moment you get my email, you click on that link, you open it up, you come to my page, I'm tracking you. So now when I go run Facebook ads, I can show that person my next ad. Gotcha. So, 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 so my, my point is that I, I normally use video sales pages for my, for my email sequence for my email sequence. And, and, and that's why it just, it, it'd be so powerful in your case with the listing. So these right. emails that you would set up in the sequence, let's say you just set up four emails, four emails. Hey Dave, this is Chris. Hey, click the link below. I made a quick video for you regarding this property. I click the link. I come to a page like this. It's you on video giving me 60 seconds of what's going on with that listing. Like, dude, that's crazy powerful, bro. Like, no yeah. one's doing that. Like, no one's yeah. doing that. Yeah, I and, believe it. And and it's like, you just build more trust. You build more credibility. And at the same time, you have you have your Facebook pixel on the page tracking them. And and and, and when you track people from your pages because you have your pixel on it, mm -hmm. again, you wouldn't do that with lead generation. Um, you would do that with traffic ads because with traffic, you're taking them to a landing page. But the reason, another reason why the pixel is so important on these pages is not only so I can send, so I can show them my next ad, like with the video view I told you, I mentioned in the beginning, you run video views, you retarget all those who actually viewed it with the pages. I can do that too. I can, I can track you with this page via Facebook and I can show you my next ad. But what I can also do is I can exclude you from seeing that next ad. So in your case, you're already, you're already a client of mine. You're already on an email list of mine. Whoever lands on my pages, on these pages, on these specific pages, on that specific email list that Chris is on, those are people, those are real estate agents that do not need to see my next ad. Right. Because they're already my client. Like what do I, what, they don't need to see future Facebook ads. Right. Especially if I'm trying to get more clients, they're already yeah. a client. So because I Facebook pixeled you, I can exclude you because now I have a custom audience. I have a custom audience of all those who landed on these specific pages, which means that, yes, I can retarget and show them a future ad, or I can exclude them from seeing future ads. Gotcha. So, yeah, so, that makes sense. So this, these pages are super, super powerful, man, when it really comes to real Facebook advertising. Yeah. So that's video sales pages. You can always play around and look at all those. And then, and the thank you pages. So when someone comes to your landing page and then boom, they enter their name and email, they go to a thank you page. And so all the colors, all that stuff can be changed, man. The images, all that stuff can be changed, but the okay. template is, is the most powerful and it's already done for you. Right. So, um, 
Um, and then there's just a bunch of other ones, man, a bunch of other ones, but, but this, this, this is a time saver for sure. Um, and all of these are, are just beautiful pages. So X out of that. And then, and then my forms on the left, yeah, you can cancel. And then my forms, you're going to have two forms over here. One is for the, for the actual landing page. And then one is for the actual calendar. Okay. So, um, what we got to do real quick is we have to update these forms real quick. Um, and then my videos, the videos that are on your landing pages, that's where you could upload the videos here. So you don't, have, you don't have to upload them to YouTube or upload them anywhere else. You just take that, 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 um, that video, like what I would do is I would record the video on my cell phone and then I would transfer it to my computer and then I would upload them here. Gotcha. Okay. That, that video sits on your landing page or on okay. any page for that matter. Nice. And then, and then you got my calendars on the left. And then, and then that's it, man. That's it. And then, um, let's do this real quick. Do you have, do you have an actual, yeah, you have your, you have your Remax email, right? I do. Um, let's, let's use that for everything. So click on, um, click on my, my integrations on the left. And let's click on the three dots where it says cart your mail. That way, whenever you set up a form, whenever you're setting up a new email or a sequence or anything like that, by default, Go ahead and click on edit. By default, the from and the reply to will be your Remax email. Gotcha. Um, yeah, whenever people respond to my Remax email, it's just forwarded to my perfect. Gmail. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. But I want them to see visually, you know what I mean? I want Remax. them to visually see Remax. You know what gotcha. I mean? So put, your, put your emails right there. The send from and the reply to. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then, um, yeah, and then you can always send a test if you want, but it's, it, you're good. You're good to go. Okay. okay so cool. just click, um, you can click edit. Perfect. So you're good with that. And then, um, dang, let's just, let's, I guess let's just, let's just dive into a page real quick. Do you have, do you, do you have a listen right now or no? I do. Let's um. Why don't we Why don't we import that real quick? Let's um. Do you have Yeah, you have images, right? Do you have any images on your computer of it? I do. Oh, let's do that, dude. Let's click on my pages, and let's just go into the page and let's let's do some basic editing okay. and change these images to the actual listing. Okay. So click on um the the one to the very right. Click this on those three good. dots. Oh. Yeah, that one we're gonna edit this one. So click on those three dots and then it's going to edit. And then, um, and then also let, let's just start from right here, change that name. So page name, let's name that, you know, the listing or whatever. Perfect. Perfect. And then here's what I also want you to do. I want you to change the category because I have the category in shared funnels, which is my, my category. So go ahead and create a new one. If you click on, yeah, click on manage. Yeah. That one right there. And then, so now you're going to be able to categorize all these pages. I would, I would keep it simple and put listings. Like this is this is the category of all my listing pages. So listings would be would be perfect. Um, and then what you can do is just X out of that shared funnel category at the bottom. Just X out. Yeah, that one, yeah, you could delete that. Perfect. So now now these will go into the listings category and then click on the green one. Done. Gotcha. Perfect. So now go ahead and hit the drop down category and choose that um, category. There it is there. Perfect. Okay. And then no site in particular is fine. Click on okay. the green one. Yeah, edit. Perfect. And so now as we come into a page, any page, whether it's this page, any new page, whatever, the very, very, very first thing that I do, and this is just like a simple, like a tutorial, like it kind of, yeah, you, you got to start the tutorial, then you got to go through it. You got to click next, next, next. But I definitely want you to, to, to read this later. Okay. Just so you're familiar with all these buttons on the left. Okay. But I'm gonna kind of give you a crash course and just show you where to focus on the most. Cause there's a ton of buttons on the left, but there's only a couple of them that you'll be clicking on. Gotcha. When building this page out or when building any page out. Okay, cool. So here's what I do when I, when I come into a page for the very, very first time. Now you named the page, right? You gave it the, the title of the listing. And by mm. default, Karcher always has, Karcher also has that as the name in the tab. 
So as you open up tabs, like if you just at the very top hit the plus sign and open up a new tab and you go to any website, like go to any website, click on the plus sign at the very, very top. So you open up a new tab, you go to any website, any random website, there's that title in the tab, right? So just like uh, the title in the cartridge tab, right? Like you have the title in the tab. So oh, up here, you mean? like the title Yahoo, that's the title. Yep. And then you have the, the purple, the purple logo right, right there yeah. as well. So gotcha. with Kartra, it's titled Kartra. So that right there is what you can control. You can control what that says. And so sometimes by default, as we name a page, so you can go back to Kartra. Sometimes by default, as we name a page, that's not always what we want in the title. Now, in this case, it's perfect. But sometimes if I name a page, that's not exact because I see that internally. I see 9804 excursion. I see that internally. I name that page internally. But externally is what they see in that tab. And sometimes it's, I don't want it to say that. So if I ever want to change it, that's the first thing I do because that's what the general public sees right away is the title of that tab. So I'll click on settings to the left and I'll just make sure it's what I want it to say. Click on SEO parameters. See, so right now, so perfect mm. example, perfect example. I had it titled at 777 Plaza Boulevard. Gotcha. But that's not the title I want in the tab, right? I need to change it. So I would change it to, you obviously, 9804. Should I put the city and the state in there as well, or just leave it as is? Um, you could maybe put, the, maybe put the city, maybe Oak, Oak Point, but you're going to be running this, you're going to be running this to that area anyways. So that's fine that's perfect okay and then and then the page description i mean i don't always put this um just especially on on like a listing for example because not like you're going to have this exact page forever like it's a listing hopefully it sells fast and you won't even be marketing this damn page anymore right <laughs> yeah. so so this right here page meta description page meta meta keywords page author that is all information that shows on social media. So as you go and share this link, which I'm advising you to not even do, but if you do, you're going to do it by, by just human nature. You're going to just randomly do it just to share it. And when you do, that information shows on Facebook. So as you share a link on Facebook, there's, there's information that populates, and there's even an image that populates. Gotcha. That, that comes from here. So, um, like, let me give you, let, let me give you an example, go to Facebook real quick and you'll see what, what I mean. Go to, yeah, go to Facebook and just, um, and just go to, go to, as if you're going to, yeah, just log in real quick, go to the home. And as if you're going to type, as you're going to post something, type in, um, and it's only when you share a link, this is only when you share a link. So that's why I'm referring to. So right here, go as if you're going to post something, type in, type in, type in ESPN.com. And then click enter. Let's see. Put in um, delete that. Put in HTTPS. Yeah. See if you have to put in a yeah. So, semicolon forward slash forward slash www. So as you take the link and you share it, that that that's the full link. Oh. Gotcha. Click on enter. Normally there's a there's a there's more information and there's an image. Right, like watch, an watch. ESPN go, image or something? Yeah, go to ESPN.com. Go to the very top, hold the tab, and just go to ES, ESPN.com. Just open up a new tab. Yeah, go to ESPN.com, and then grab that link and take that full URL at the very, very top and share that. So double-click. Actually, you got to double-click. Double-click it. Yeah, perfect. So as you go and share that, there's just information that should populate. X out and do it again. Yeah, yeah, delete that. I don't know why it's not showing up, but it happens on Facebook and it happens on LinkedIn. Gotcha. Yeah, like that. There Perfect. you go. Perfect. So back to Kartra, that's where we would put the information. So that description and then also if you scroll to the very, very bottom, scroll to the very bottom, image selected. So that mm -hmm. ESPN image, that's where mm -hmm. you put your image of the listing. Gotcha. So if I share that link on my Facebook and then that my image would pop up right here. Yes, dude. With, 
Gotcha. Man, it that's looks awesome. Super legit. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really yeah. good when you do it. And and it, and that happens when you share on Facebook, when you share a link on Facebook and when you share a link on LinkedIn. Nice. Okay. That's cool. So that's that's where you want to control that. So right now, click on the blue one, image selected. Let's change it out because I have I have I had that image of this image showing. So go ahead and upload just for the heck of it. Yeah, upload your image. And you always want to upload like a like a horizontal size type of image, like not a vertical one. Gotcha. So those ones okay. right there are perfect. Okay, cool. And then select it. Actually, yeah, select it first, and then and then confirm. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then click apply. And you might as well put your name in the page author. You might as well. You might as well just the heck of it perfect okay cool so now okay so we're good with that <clears throat> we're good with that and you could put the address that's what i'm saying if you really want to get detailed with it you could put put the description which would be the which would be even just maybe a few bullet points of the property but again in this case dude i would recommend running a facebook ad and getting that damn thing sold quick yeah rather than just letting it linger all over social media right so, that's why a lot of times when it comes to this, this, I wouldn't even really worry about that. Okay. I would only fill that out if it, in my case I have a book. So it's like that book, right. is, you know, be online forever. So I want to make sure this is all legit. Right. But that case, would make sense. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even worry about that in this case. So let's just yeah. X out of that. And then, um, and then, and then also, and, and then, so now let's change the image. So if you scroll to the, yeah, that red button to the very right, that is the image, the background image. And you'll get familiar on, on where to right. navigate. But, but um, click on that and then click on the pencil um, right there. Yeah, perfect. That is the background image. So if you go to, if you click on background, image selected, that's where you'll just choose that same. Yeah, you can easily choose that same one. Click confirm and then click apply. Bam. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so there's that. And then also you can always, you can also even bring it up. So if you click on, you see how the sky, there's more, if you go up, there's more, there's more sky. Than there is house, yeah. And there is house. And then you mm -hmm. can view it on mobile as well. So if you up at the top, you can look, you can see how it looks on tablet, on look how, look how it looks on mobile. So. Gotcha. In desktop view, for example, I may, I may want to bring the house up. Um, so click on the pencil. And then what I'll do is. Um, right there, the style, the padding. I think I think it's actually try taking that sixty out and try putting zero. This is where you would control the the um, padding. So click on apply. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I saw. I pulled it up just a bit. And then what you can do is you can even go negative. So why don't you why don't you type in negative? Why don't you go negative negative thirty? Uh, let's see. Put the minus sign in there and I hit. Okay, so it's not letting you. Some of them let you go negative. Some of them don't. Um, gotcha. I don't know why. Yeah, that's yeah. So you can't do negative on this one. Yeah, it won't let me hit the minus sign. Okay. Okay. So then that might be. Yeah. So just put zero then. Put zero, and then just click apply. Okay. okay. So that might be as high as, as we could take it then. Okay. Um. So then bullet points, and you can always. So if you just hover over, hover over anything. Like you'll, um, there you go. So then you can actually click it again, right there, click. Then, then now you can edit the text. So you can change the color of those check marks. You can um, edit the okay. text, obviously. Gotcha. You can edit the font. But in this case, with the text, it's the T. Right. And you'll get familiar with which one's which. But the T would, would change the actual, allow you to change the text. Um, that image should be able to come up more. I don't know why you can't go negative, um, but that's that's fine. Unless you unless you want me to choose another image, um, where the home may be a little bit higher. Um, if if you have something like that, then I mean I think that looks great. I think that looks great, but but at the same time, just because I just look into it even further than the average eyeball. <laughs> yeah. <person>. Like <laughs> yeah. the average person's not even gonna give a damn. Like there's <laughs> right. But just because I, you know, I look you at know it. it. Yeah, so. Um, 
but it's all good. And here's what I always do. Here's what I always do as well. Every few minutes, I'll save it because anything could happen. Your computer could die right now. Like, right? Like, anything yeah. Happen. If I spend all this time working on the damn page and I lose it, it sucks. So yeah. I always hit that green button at the top and I always hit save progress. Okay. I'll do that like every, every five minutes if needed. Gotcha. Um, so, so number one, I always change the settings, make sure that, 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 um, that title in the tab is updated. And then also I always, always, always will take my Facebook pixel and put that pixel on the page right away as well. Okay. So if you click on settings in the top left, you go down to tracking code. This is where at the very bottom, that's where you would put your Facebook pixel. Okay. So that's my pixel right there. And what, what we do is, well, the strategy is to, yeah, to put your pixel there and then create a custom audience of all those who land here. Gotcha. And so that pixel code on Facebook, is that through my, is that my business page? That would be in your, in your ads manager. It wouldn't be on your business page. It would be in your Facebook ads manager, so right where you set up the ads. Could I post that in there now? Yeah, dude, pull up your ads manager. I'll show you how to do it. So just click on create at the top, create, and then click on add. And this will bring you to the ads manager. And then what we'll do is click on the three lines at the top, the top left. Rare. Go down, yeah. And then go down to, um, go down to events manager. And then you'll see it right here. And then also always make sure <clears throat> that um, you're in the right account because if you hit that drop down in the top left, Chris Garcia two zero six. Oh yeah. You have quite a few, right? So right. as you're navigating to the ads manager, Facebook will have you in a different account sometimes. Right. And so you'll go grab a pixel when it was a pixel for freaking six one four seven five seven. Right. Because they default, they put you in some other random account by default. And it's like, I hate that, dude. And it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, so always check that top left. Make sure you're in the right one. Um, if that's where you're running everything from, stick to that one. And because that's where you'll start creating custom audiences. You'll start getting the pixel in that one account. And you just don't want to be doing it in other accounts thinking you're in this one. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, so should so, I, should I use the Chris Garcia realtor or my personal? Whatever, bro. Like whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay. And then, so this is just that pixel code right here that I would copy and paste into you, Kartra? I'll show you, I'll show you right now. So from this yeah. point on, I would, I would, I would suggest sticking with Chris Garcia realtor. Let's build everything around that account. Okay. Okay. Our custom audiences are going to be in that account. Our custom conversions are going to be in that account, which I'll, I'll tell you what that is later, but our pixel is going to be from this account. So click on uh, the blue Chris Garcia's pixel, click on that. And then to the top right, click on setup and then click on install pixel. Okay. And then manually add pixel code, the middle one. And then click, bam. Now go back to Kartra. And then just delete that entire thing. Make sure it's all out of there. Perfect. And then paste. And then and then hit enter twice. And then go back to Facebook. Go back to the ad manager. Leave the cursor there. And then go back to um, the ad manager, back to the pixel. Oh, it's back here. Yeah. No, the, the ad manager. Pull up the next tab. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. There we go. Oh, there's a Zoom thing in the way? The Zoom thing was in the way, yeah. yeah. It always happens. Hit the um, blue one. Now we'll continue. And then we're going to click on manually add event code. And then hit the drop down e-commerce and retail and go to real estate. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to simply, we put the pixel on, but now we're going to get even more specific. And we're going to give it an actual event event name. So so not only is Facebook tracking who's going there, but we're also getting more specific by saying it's a it's a it's a view content. They it was a lead. 
it was a contact, whatever. We can get more specific. So in this case, on a landing page, I go with view content. So click on that view content right there at the top. You'll see a drop down no, at the bottom, view content. Uh, oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah, click on that. And then just go, scroll down a little bit and turn that, shade that blue to gray. And then copy that code right there. Perfect. And then go back to Karcher and just paste it right below. Perfect. And then click apply. Perfect. So now here's 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 what's here's what's powerful. Here's 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 again just you know Facebook ad ninja stuff. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna end up doing is creating a custom audience of everyone who lands here, but never filled out the form. Gotcha. And how do we know that they never filled out the form? Because Pixel. we also have our Facebook pixel on the thank you page and they never landed there. Mm, okay. So if I'm running ads on listings and I ran an ad on this listing and people saw my ad in the, in the news feed, they clicked on learn more. They came to the landing page, but they never filled out the form. They had, there was some interest there, man. Like there's no way you're clicking that far. And, and, and so when you come to a landing page, a lot of things could happen. You're, you, maybe you were driving, maybe you were busy, maybe your wife was calling you. You know what I mean? A lot of things happen, dude. We don't know what the hell's going on with people's lives. But they got this far. They saw the ad. They clicked on it. They took a look at the page. But for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Right. I want to show them my next listing ad. Gotcha. And I'm only going to know that because I created a custom audience of those who landed on it but never filled out the form. Right. Right? So, so now we're good with that. That's the pixel. And we're going to also add it on – the 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 um the actual landing page. Why don't you why don't you do this real quick? Copy everything above the word script. So we're not going to get the bottom part view content. We're going to just get the top part. Copy that, and let's put that on the thank you page, and let's also put that on the scheduled appointment page. So let's let's um, save progress at the top right. And you know what? What we're going to also do real quick is we're going to. Um, I'm pretty sure. It's Actually, I think we – yeah, I think we got to connect it. So if you scroll down, that blue button – so let's edit the blue button. And then um, click on link. So right here, you can change the text. You can add an icon. <clears throat> Everything can happen right here. If they click the button, they can go to another cartridge page. If they click on the button, they, they can go to an external URL, which is a Facebook page, for example. So I can control what happens when they click on that first initial button. And in this case, I have it where a pop-up form is coming, coming up. Mm -hmm. So let's edit this real quick. So X out of that, X, hit that little, yeah, X out of that. Let's change that background image. So click on the red button to the very right. And let's go to image and let's just um, upload that, that same image. Gotcha. You can always do a different image for sure, right? But since we're here, we got this one, but we could just easily use that one. So okay. click apply. And then bam, there it is there. And then you can you can you know change out that text. But um this up here. You mean yeah, change out that might as well might as well since we're here. So the text, that's all you'll do, man, is, is just hover over it, edit, add anything you want, um, and then the form. So let's hover over the form right there. Click on it, and then there's that pencil. So hit that, that edit. There you go. And then we're going to – okay, perfect. So it's already going to the form. Okay, perfect. And then you can always change the, um, the field, which is the text. So click on field. Um, actually, button. It's under button. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, so you can always oh, change right. the text. You can always change the color. Here's here's one thing. Actually, yeah, perfect. You got the color pick eyedropper. That Sweet. color. That was you, eyedropper. man. Are that, you was from, that was from one of your videos, man. I, I freaking Hell pulled yeah. that off, and I was like, man, that is badass. So. Awesome, dude. Awesome. That thing's a lifesaver, man. I want everything to be consistent, right? We yeah. want to match everything, bro. So from the buttons to the text to whatever, and that pick eyedropper will allow you to do it. So. You can always change the, the background color. You can always change the color of the, of the text, that white. So everything would happen right here. Um, okay. So X out of that. And then so now 
we have the form going to the right, or we have that blue button going to the right form. So click done. Anytime you're in a form, this is super important. Every time you're in a form, you always have to click done. Gotcha. Or else it won't, it won't save for whatever reason. And then now let's click the green button and save progress. What I want you to do also real quick, since we're here, is go to, um, go to remax.com or go to your website, go to your remax website, whatever it is. Either, either the corporate page or your page. Yeah, perfect. Scroll to the very, very bottom. And I want you to simply click on, um, where's your, um, okay, there it is. So the bottom right, the privacy notice and the terms of use. We need, we need both of those pages. So if you click on it, you're going to copy that link, copy that full URL, double click it. Always double click it so you can get that HTTPS. Gotcha. Cool. So copy that. Let's go to Kartra and we're going to scroll to the very bottom and we're going to hover over the privacy policy and we're going to add, add yours. So to click it, click it again. There you go. Perfect. So when this is mainly important, actually it, it's the only reason why this privacy policy in terms of use is, is, is 100% important when running Facebook ads. Facebook wants you to have that on your landing page. So okay. click on, um, click on, on um, link. And now we're going to go link to an external URL. And then just go to the bottom and then just paste in that um, URL. And I want, I want it to open in a new tab. So that's, okay. that's something to always keep in mind. Because if you don't do it that way, they click on it and now they're off your landing page. Right. Okay. Right. So I want... Yeah, so click apply and then do the same thing for terms of use. Actually, you might, yeah, you might have to go back. And then also on the about, because I know there's about an about one, too, yeah, about us, contact us, you can link it to your, to your page as well. Okay. Let me do this terms of use real quick. And you know what? To tell you the truth, dude, I don't even let, – let's get rid of – let's get rid of um, about us and contact us. On the okay, right here. Yeah, just get rid of it because I don't, okay. I don't want them – I don't want them going there just yet. Okay. They'll know more about us after – they'll know more about us after the opt-in. But gotcha. that right there is just required for Facebook ads. Okay. And then also, also go to your um, – go back to your Remax page. And um, where is your – do you have – you might, it might just be Remax, but where is the, um, um, let's see, go to, just click on, um, click on the, the logo in the top left and go to the very, very bottom of the page. Um, normally there's a, um, normally there's like that copyright or whatever. I want you to kind of just put, put your name and that's what you can do. Why don't you just put Chris Garcia, put your, and put your license number. So go back to the Kartra okay. page. At the very bottom, I have copyright at 2020. Oh, right here. Yeah, that right there. Just put in Chris Garcia and your license number and maybe put Remax if you want. And it's really just taken out Inspired Digital, LLC. Yeah. Gotcha. So you said put in Chris Garcia here? Yeah. And then here's what I also want you to do. Um, and then your license number, maybe put Remax if you want. Perfect. And here's what's really, really cool. Also, when it comes to a page, there's there's blocks. There's 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 certain yeah. There's blocks. Everything is is a block. This bottom part, the white, is a block. That is your, that that's the footer. So gotcha. as you start to create these pages, you can save these blocks. So in my case, what I always do is I want everything to be consistent from my emails to my to the footers in my pages. Mm -hmm. So I just simply save it and then I just use this for my next page. So what you're going to do is hover down. Yeah, you can save. Hit the green one, hit save. Progress. Yeah, perfect. And then and then at the very very bottom, you'll see that red, yeah, to the very right. Click on that and then click on the heart. So now when you create future pages, you won't have to type that in anymore. Okay, nice. Privacy policy will already be there. The terms of use will already be there, and I'll show you where to get that. But if you click on um, 
So X out of that, and then click on, to the very left, click on Sections. And then you'll see it right there, Favorite Blocks. Click on Favorite Blocks. So now you yeah, have that. So all you got to do is click it, drag it, and you can drop it. Nice. Okay. You use that for, and I do the same thing for my emails. So I'll create a template one time, and I'll use that template over and over and over so all my emails are consistent. Gotcha. As far as the aesthetics, as far as how it looks, you know what I mean? Okay. Perfect. So we're good with this. Um, and again, you can always change the colors. You can change the color of the check mark. You can change the colors of – what I always like to do is, is yeah, is just whether I'll match it with the house, whether I'll match it with the sky, whether I'll match it with the bush of the, of the tree, that green, whatever. But you can always change that later, the colors. Gotcha. Okay. So hit Save Progress again and then just uh, publish live and then um, – and then we'll we'll go to the, the thank you page. Uh, it kind of freeze on you? Yeah. Let me see. Maybe try closing the ESPN one because I know there's a ton of probably video on that running. You could hit done right there. Uh, back over here. Should I? I think it saved it, but um, should I just it's, hit the re refresh? Yeah, hit the refresh. See, and that's a perfect example, man. Why I always save progress. Oh, I hope it's saved, dude. I hope it freaking saved. Scroll down. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, and then also you can always like click, hover over anything, like hover over those social media icons. Yeah, ho hover over anything. You see that that cross? Mm -hmm. That allows you to drag. So I could I could put those I could put that below it, below the copyright. I could put it below the privacy policy. So I could just drag stuff around as well. Gotcha. Okay. Is this and it is it just this particular like it Facebook would, link or is it the whole no, world? It'd be the whole thing. So as gotcha. yeah, so as you click again, then you click into each individual one. Gotcha. But okay. then, but I can't drag each individual. I'd have to drag the entire. The whole world. Thing. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. that's no problem. So that's that, yeah. So um, and then that's pretty much it when it comes to this one. Let's um, yeah, let's publish live. And then this also is where in the future, whenever you do get like your own .com, like a, a separate domain, you could tie that domain to all these pages. But to tell you the truth, I mean, the, the, the one reason why you want these, this whole entire software is for, is for Facebook ads in, in the beginning. I tell it to people all the time. I tell, it on my, I tell it in my videos all the time on YouTube. The only reason why a person needs landing pages is if they're running paid ads. If they're not, then freaking you don't need landing pages. I mean, have a website and just take people to your website. But right. the reason well, why I even bring that up. I do have a .com. I just have it pointing to a different website. To your Remax site? Yeah. Like my Remax site is chrisgarcia.remax.net. Like that's the actual URL. I just have the cgpremierrealty.com pointing towards the um, chrisgarcia.remax.com. Okay. So then – so like I could use the CG Premier Realty dot com for anything. I don't have to have it pointing to my Remax site. Okay. So in that case, and that's your dot. That's your domain. That's my domain. Yeah. Like okay. I paid for that domain. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, dude, you don't have to do it right now, but in the future, you you may want to just start using that domain for for this because as you create all these different pages, you can tie everything to that one domain. So so it'd be. It'd be chrisgarcia.net forward slash 9804, right? So now you can just build every page around that .com. It would be it would be after the forward slash that specific page. Gotcha. Okay. But you don't you don't gotta do it right now. But okay. right here is where you would see it. So click on get the page link, 
as you build each page, you would click the, the pencil, the, the edit to the right, and then you would see the drop down. You would click that drop down, and your domain would be right there. Oh, you mean right so here? If you click that, you would see your domain right there. It'd be chrisgarcia.net or whatever. Gotcha. And then, and then you would just customize that BOF379. You would just change that to 9804 or whatever. Okay. But for now, that's the link. And the reason why I bring this up is because I don't even think you need a domain. You can get fancy if you want, but I don't think you need to because no one's even seen the link. Right. Like, and I mean, it, it, it's, it's a Facebook ad. They're clicking on learn more. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and even when they come to the page, that's what they're going to see. They're going to see that long link. So click the checkbox and then copy that. And let's open it up in a new tab. When, the, when a person gets to your page, when they land on your page, they see that link. But I also know that 100% of people don't even care. So I don't care if that was your official .net. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't even know you. Like, I don't care. Like, I, like right? Like, right, yeah. I don't care. It's only if I'm really branding something. If I'm putting something on my business card, mm -hmm. then for sure I'm going to put cgpremierrealty.net like on my business card. I'm, I'm, it's out in the public. Right. But in this case, no one cares what that link is, dude. You know what right. I mean? So you don't necessarily have to add your domain to this if you don't want to. Okay. So click, so click on the blue button, view all 17 photos now. Click on that, and then boom. There's nice. that. And then, and then let's fill it out. Let's fill it out just for the heck of it. Okay. Click on send me the details. Put, put Chris. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, sorry. No, it's all good. So now we're going to work on this page. We've got to change that image. And that right there is where I would, I would highly recommend for you to do a simple video. Gotcha. On your cell phone. And when you're doing video on your cell phone, hold the phone horizontal. Hold the phone horizontal so you get the widescreen view. Mm -hmm. And that that's the video for that. Don't let that be a vertical Instagram video. Okay, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Wide screen view. Okay. So so and then click on the blue button below. So in that video, I'm saying I'm introducing myself. I'm saying thank you. We're gonna connect it right now, but it would go to your calendar. In that video, I'm saying thank you. I'm introducing myself. I'm telling them to check their emails. And then number four, I'm telling them to click the button below to schedule a private showing. And I'm creating urgency. I'm going to be like, hey, dude, the property obviously is not going to last. I have a ton of inquiries. People are seeing it this weekend. My phone is not ringing off. My phone won't stop ringing off the hook, right? Like, I'll create urgency to get them to click the button and schedule, schedule a call. Sure. Okay. So um, we'll connect the calendar right now. But that's, okay. that's where you end up going is to um, – and, and see, you see at the top, go back to the other tab, the, the thank you page. You see at the very top, the tab, it says schedule showing. Oh, so, right you may no at the very very top the tab. You oh, up here I can't see it because the uh, oh there it is. the zoom is kind of in the oh, way of it, exactly, but exactly. I see what you're saying now. So schedule showing you may want to change that. You know what I mean? So that's the title in the, in the, in the tab. Gotcha. Okay. So let's change out that image real quick. So let's go to Kartra. You can leave this page up. In fact, yeah, leave that page up because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check our work after. Okay. But yeah, let's let's get out of this. So close and then just um, hit the green button and then return to dashboard. So it's save progress, publish live, and then return to dashboard. Wait, gotcha. we, we already did that part, but okay. it's just a three step before I ex exit the page. So hit exit on this one? Uh, yes. And I think you can go straight to publish live and then return to dashboard. So it's just two steps, but gotcha. I just save progress. It's just a habit that I a habit, yeah. Formed. So click on that thank you page, open up those three dots, click on the three dots and just change out that image real quick. And then let's connect the calendar to that button. And also add the pixel to this page. Gotcha. Okay. And then do I change the put, category on this one? Change the category, but also the page name. Put put thank you page. Oh, thank you page on here. Or or no, the, the address too, but but I would I would make sure that I have maybe T Y. Or something in there just so I know it's the, it's the thank you page. There you go. It didn't let me do the. Um, okay, just... good. okay. So maybe. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, and then perfect category. Awesome. Okay, so let's edit.
And then also, once we're in here, I'll just show you kind of to the left where um, where you'll be spending most of your time. Because what this tutorial is doing is showing you every single button on the left. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there's only a couple of them that, that, I, that, that you work out of. Gotcha. So click on next, 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 next. And then um, we'll just change out the basics. And then maybe maybe on the background image, maybe choose a different image. Okay. You know? Like maybe the kitchen or something? Yeah, dude, that'd be cool. Okay. Uh, let's get started. Okay. So, cool. so right red here. button. Yep. Pencil. Edit. Background. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, and it's not like it's going to show because that video slot is there right so it's kind of just in the background gotcha. yeah like at least around it we'll, we'll we'll see it but again that's the same that, that that's why we're wetting their appetite in that email they're going to get a ton of photos uh, okay, so, gotcha. Yeah, so they can't really even see the the kitchen in the background. Yeah, but it, it it's just a little. It's just teaser. a different, yeah. It's gotcha. a different image. Yeah. Okay. So let's um. So click on settings in the top left. Let's change out the title before we forget, because that's that's why I do that first. Because sometimes I'll just forget. So um. This one. Yeah. I see you. Okay. So it's either schedule showing or you could put whatever. You could put whatever. I mean, whatever makes sense for you. But that's um, the whole yeah. purpose. That, that's the whole call to action in that damn video. It's to get you to click the button, you know? To get on my calendar. Yeah, dude, to schedule your showing, man. Right. Okay. And so that's the whole call to action in video. That's why I suggest on video, man, it's just it's just that much more powerful because that call to action, I need you to see how important it is to schedule your showing, right? So right. I, it's hard for me to, to, to express that, just me personally, but just in general, it's harder to express that via text if I just came here and read something right. or if I just came here and saw images. And in red, click below to schedule your. <laughs> it's like, damn, yeah. dude, like there's no, right? Like, what yeah. you, if you just verbally, visually showed, to, told me that. Right. It's basic, bro. 30 seconds on your cell phone. Yeah, and definitely then, more powerful for yeah, sure. Yeah. So schedule tour today. Perfect. And then um, scroll to the bottom, click apply. And then in this case, on a thank you page, you for sure don't need to worry about the image. You don't need to worry about the, the author, the title, because no one's sharing this thank you page on social media. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, hit apply for sure, and then and then um, and then let's co let's connect that calendar, that button. So hover over that blue button, and then hit the pencil, and then let's um, hit link, and then we're gonna scroll down, and it's gonna connect to a Karcher calendar. And then we're going to click the drop down, select a calendar, and you're going to be able to change the name. There should have been okay. a calendar. That, didn't we, we imported a calendar with it. That's weird. I wonder why. Did I, did I click on the right one, link to a Kartra calendar? Yeah, you did. I wonder why that okay. calendar is not showing. Oh, it's not showing because we haven't activated the calendar. That's what we got to do. That's fine. Click apply. Let's see if it will let you apply. Yeah, we got we to gotta activate the calendar first. The calendar is not activated yet. Gotcha. There, but it's not activated yet. So here's okay. what I want you to do. At the very bottom, so in this case, now you get to follow me on social media. Now I'll tell you everything about me, right? Now. Like I didn't want those social media icons on the landing page, right? Right. I'm not going to have you click on my ad and then all of a sudden you clicking on my Twitter and follow me there and not even giving up your name and number. Right, right. So now I want you to follow me. So, so that's where I'll show the icons. And, and I'll, I'll say click your favorite icon below to connect with me on social media. You can always change that up. And okay. then and grab, grab. Um, I don't think, yeah, you don't have the landing page up anymore. But that same copyright, I'll, I'll do oh, it. Right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that that matches for everything and with everything. Okay. And, and this, is, this is maybe a template. And there's different, watch, dude, click on, um, click on section to the left. There's different footers, so you might not even like that footer. There's there's a ton of different footers to choose from, but whatever footer you end up putting, just like we saved the footer on the landing page, we want to also save the footer for the thank you pages. Right. So okay. click on sections, and these are all the different ones that we, we can play with, but just go down. I think it's under sections. It might be under 
components, but let's see, scroll down. Uh, yeah, there we go, footers. So click on footers, and there's all these different footers that you can you can choose from. But that's the one that we saved at the top. This one oh, from earlier? Yep. Yeah, but I don't want that one on this one because that's just a share one. Those gotcha. three icons are to share the page, which I, I definitely don't mind if you share my landing page. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. But I don't need you sharing this thank you page. And right. If you scroll down. Scroll down. There's just different ones that you can choose from. So if you want to get even more detailed with it, there's, there's – ones that just come with all the about us and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, something simple, like maybe this one. Yeah. Do click it and then drag it. Just and drop, drop it here. It. Yeah. Perfect. And then X out. And then what you can do is you can simply um, hit the red to the bottom, that red, and you could just hit the X and just get rid of that one. Perfect. Gotcha. And then your logo can go right there. Work about us, contact us. What you can do is you can link those to your web to your to your Remax. Okay. That'd be a good idea. Link that to the Remax. Set up all those icons right there. Just hover over the Facebook icon. Link it to your link it to your Facebook page. I would link it to your okay. Facebook business page, obviously. Right. Um, link those up, and then once you link it all up, put the logo. Once you link all that up, then you go and click the red button and click the heart, and you save that. Okay. Now that goes on all of your thank you pages. Okay. Okay. Click heart to say. Okay. So um, that's something you can you can do for sure. Let's um, and then so click on um, click on components to the left. So it's really it's really only sections. It's settings, sections, and components. That's gotcha. where you're gonna spend all your time. Okay. So you can build out amazing pages, but in this case, when it comes to a product that we're selling, all we need is a landing page and a thank you page to tell you the truth. But you can get as crazy as you want. There's so many different functions to build a page here, and all it is is if all it is is click on click on any of them. All this stuff is, dude, is drag. So you click, drag, click, drag. That's all. All this is, dude, is whether you're in the sections, whether you're in the components, it just allows you to just click and drag. Gotcha. Okay, and, so pretty and, simple. And let me show you how to drag. Also, just click on um click on anything. Yeah, you can click on that. Click on it and then drag it over to the right. Whenever, okay, don't don't let go, don't let go. You're gonna be able to drag, and wherever the orange line is at, that's where you mm -hmm. can drop something. But you have to you have to click it down until it turns green. So when you hook, uh, yeah, you can I drop see it. that. In fact, go yeah. ahead and drop it. Go ahead and drop it because you can always delete. So now you can drop that, and it just it just opens up a whole new block yeah. where you can now add some text if you wanted to. You could just gotcha. start designing anything out of that. But hit the X and just X out of that. All right, and just undo. No, no, no. Hover over the white part, that bar. Yeah, hover over that and just uh, yeah, hit X. Delete it. Perfect. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And so there's headlines like, like let's watch. Go to the very, scroll to the very top of the page. That thank you for your interest. That's uh -oh. just basic text. But if I wanted to get more crazy with it, I can go components. I think it's components or it's sections. I always get those two confused. But go to um, scroll up, look for headlines. Oh, right here. Yeah, headlines. So if I click on headlines, there's all these different templates that all I got to do is click on it, drag it, and then I can edit from there. Gotcha. So there's just whatever you want. You know, it's all preference, but you just click it, drag it, and then drop it, and then there there becomes you know even more text you can work around. Gotcha. Okay. Maybe even the black maybe even stands out even more. This one, yeah. Yeah. Versus the white. Yeah, dude, for sure. So if you just hover over the white, you could just delete it and then and then just work off of that black and, and go from there. Gotcha. Um, and even and then, that orange doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like if you put something there, I don't know what you can put there. Um, but but just the visual of looking at that doesn't look bad at all. Right. You can, you know, fill that in, you know, later on if you want. Okay. So that's that and then now we got to do so let's go to the very bottom real quick yeah once you link up all those links make sure you just save it you hit the heart and then and then just use that you know from from this point on okay um and then with the actual logo what you want obviously is either a white background or you want a png file on the logo 
don't grab a logo that has maybe a blue background because it it'll just it won't look right. Okay. Like for example, go to pull up another tab and just um, go to Google and just type in Remax. I know everyone has a different logo, right? You guys don't all have the same. Right. I'll just type in my office. Oh, perfect. See if that if that pops up anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, so perfect. like this one right here. Yeah. So click on that. And see, so that that right there, that that could be really perfect. So because it's just it's just the letters. So as I take that image and I put it on the Karcher page, that that those letters will stand out versus if that was a blue black blue background, for example. Right. And then I put it on that on that white Karcher. It's, it's going to look like a it's going to look like a blue a blue box. Right. It won't look flush. Like it won't look. So see if that will work. Right click that. Save that image real quick. Yeah, save image as PNG. Yeah, it might be it might be the perfect one. So let's save that real quick and let's see if we can just drop it on the Karcher page and see how it looks. So hover, yeah, perfect. Edit, there you go. And then image. Um, yeah, I got this one actually. See, so you, you see how this one has that white background? Uh huh. So, so if, if we were putting like that, that on a gray page, that white box would show it, it wouldn't look like. Uh, yeah, I got you. So since it's on a white background, it's just it going to show okay. the lettering. Yeah. yeah it, should, it should look okay. So confirm, click apply, and let's see what it looks like. X out. But see, look, it still shows white. Yeah. Now that little... doesn't look bad, but at the same time, I mean, I want it to look flush with no yeah. white background. Could I change this right here? You could. To, yeah, you to actually, this? Yeah, so so that's a really good question. So yeah, you can. Click on the red to the very right, and then go to edit, and then let's change that color. So background color right there. Yeah. That's the code. What I would do is I would go to Google, go to google.com. Or just even on, yeah, go, go back to Google. Yeah, perfect. And then go to the color pick eyedropper and hover over that white. And this the code is, yeah. This one right here. Yeah. And the code is FFF, but let's just get it. Let's just copy, uh, copy this right here. Copy that and then X out of that. You got to X out of the um, out of the actual color. Yeah, perfect. Gotcha. And then come back to Kartra. Yeah, so that background color, let's, let's paste in that code. And then click apply. Uh, I don't think that worked. Yeah, actually, that, that, that's it fine. Did? Yeah, okay. actually, the, the green one. Oh, shit, actually, sorry. There we go. There we go. So and then, the green one. gotcha, applying. There we go. That looks much oh, yeah. better. Perfect, yeah. Cool, dude. R really, really cool. So, yeah, so the work, the About Us, the Contact Us, I would link it to your Remax Contact Me page. Okay. Because right? you have a Contact Me on that Remax page, right? I do. You do. So I would link it there, and then I would just link up my social media icons, and then and then I would heart it. Okay. And then just use that for everything, man. That's a, that's a clean one right there. Okay, perfect. Just out of curiosity, hover over the, the logo again. Actually put that one that you saved. I want to see if it looks a little different. Let's just do it for the heck of it. Uh, should have been up here. I saved it as zero Remax logo. Yeah. Um. Oh no, that's not it. Um. Actually, it's that one right to that with the black background. Is it this one? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. That's weird. It click saved it with it. a black background. Yeah, let's click on it real quick and click. Yeah, click open. Click the green one. Apply, or, or actually, you gotta click the um, the confirm or or actually click it. Yeah, click it. There you go. Then confirm. Yeah, it's it's gonna come over really good. Click apply. Okay, now X out. Let's look at it real quick. That that I know you probably can't tell the difference, but I can. 
I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it looks the same, but yeah, man, if it looks better, it. okay, cool. I can tell a difference for sure. Cool. Now, here's what I want you to do too, though. Hover over it. Let's go back to it real quick. Hover over it, edit, and just get rid of hit hit um, image selected. Hit the blue one, and just get rid of that other one. That way, okay. you're not confused. So just uh, not not that one to the right. This yeah, one. Get rid of that one. Yeah, get rid of that one. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And then hit confirm. And then just click apply again for the heck of it. Perfect. Okay. And what you can also do, X out of that, you can hover over the logo and you can you can adjust the, the size if want if you want. You don't really need to. I think that size looks good, but if you wanted to, click that that, that, the, that, that one. That is. Yeah. Okay. If I wanted okay. to make it bigger. Yeah, click on it. And uh, actually that's as big as it gets, but if you wanted to drop it lower, yeah. That's gotcha. Easy. Okay. But that that looks that looks better. I, I could tell the difference. <laughs> Like no worries. And even if you had that older color, that gray, which before we turned the whole thing to white, yeah. it, would, it would have been just the letters and it would have, it would have looked great. But gotcha. that's perfect right there. So hit save progress, the green one. And I think we're done with this. We got to just add our, we got to just uh, finalize that, that calendar okay. and the appointment confirmation page. Gotcha. And then that, and then that's it. So save progress. Yep. Did that. And then publish live. Yeah, publish live. And then even even if you don't have your own domain, get the page link. You can always customize the back end of it. So if you hit the pencil, that forward slash, you can always, you can always um you know edit that part. Over, so, over here. This yeah, that, that 3MA, you gotcha. can always change that as well. So on all your pages, you can use the Karcher default link. And, and, and that's what I do, man. Nine out of 10 times, actually, yeah, nine out of 10, because there's one out of 10 where I use my domain that I have inside of Karcher. But nine out of 10 times, all my pages, I use my, my default Karcher link, and then I just customize that back end. Gotcha. So, um, so, so you can do whatever you want, but hit the check mark. You can always change that later, too. Just, okay. So, um, so like, yeah. well, yeah, I don't know what I would change it to right now schedule showing or yeah i would what i what i end up doing is a lot of times is i'll 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 edit that to what the title of the tab is gotcha so like this one was scheduled toward a day the uh well the, is that what you put in the title for the thank you with the with the video yeah so go to the go to the tab at the very top schedule showing refresh that real quick yeah go to that open up that one click refresh perfect schedule schedule toward a day that's what i would name the link Oh, you wouldn't name that that? No, I would. I would. Yeah. I oh, would. you would. I okay. Would. So like here I could put um, schedule toward it. Gotcha. Okay. And in the URLs, it's always all lowercase. You could, you would, you could do it that way. But I think when you do end up opening it up, I think it goes all lowercase anyways. Gotcha. Yeah. My schedule for schedule toward today. Perfect. And then check the, the, the checkbox. Okay. And then copy that. Now that becomes your new your new URL. So copy that, open up that. You can close the other one because that one's not going to work anymore. And then um, uh, at the very bottom, yeah, you can close that down one. Yeah, it won't let me because the the zoom is in the way. You can move that. You could drag that zoom thing, dude. Get it out. The oh yeah, damn. <laughs> Perfect. So All right, so close that one out. Then I got yeah. this one. Toward yeah. the very bottom. Let's look at that logo real quick. Perfect. Cool, man. Okay. We're good with that. So now let's just, let's just update that calendar real quick. And then the confirmation page. Okay. Okay. So, so close up this that. and then return to dashboard. Uh, is that over here? Return to dashboard. Okay. And then let's go to, let's, let's update that calendar real quick. So click on my calendars. Yeah, there you go. The new calendar. Yeah, and then um, and then click on the three dots. No, okay. not not. You could just edit this one. You could change gotcha. the image. You could change the name. So click on edit. And then you could name it name it whatever you want. Is that what they see? Or is that um, just for me? No, that's just for that's just for you. Okay, perfect.
Okay, cool. So this is where you could you could change the logo, obviously, um, and then and then you can cut you can customize the marquee, which is the actual name of it. So for example, let go back to my calendars. Just go to the, yeah, click on my calendars again. Just let's just open it up in a new. So click on the three dots, and then get the link. Actually, you gotta we gotta custom we gotta figure we gotta finalize the configuration first. My bad. But I'll okay. have you just open it just so you can look at it where everything uh, gotcha. is. Gotcha. It's fine. Click on edit. And then edit. And so now what we'll do is we'll just, you can obviously change the logo. Um, go to change mark, custom marquee. Let me just show, I'll just show you through this part. So you can change this image, that image that's in the background. Okay. So, so and then the text. So welcome to my calendar. You could change that too. Um, you can use the default images. So if you hit that those the arrow, there's just a bunch of different images, but you can for uh, sure upload your own. Okay. Um, and that's the dimensions right there. So what I would use, I use Canva. Do you ever use Canva? I have used it before, yeah. Yeah, Canva is super, super easy to, to, to get the right dimensions of an image. So for this one, it'd be 1920 by 350. Okay, right. So gotcha. You can just grab any image and, and make it that dimension and then upload your image from there. Okay. So you can always change that. And then um, obviously the color, you could change that, but that's super basic. You can do that later. Okay. Yeah. So just on the top, click on save. Yeah. The green one. And then um, time zone, let your users select their respective time zones. So that's perfect. Leave, that, leave it there. Okay. And then save it next. And then the schedule. So this is what we got to change. So click on change. And a as we look at the schedule internally like this, mm -hmm. it's, it's based on Eastern Standard Time and it's based on military time. But as a person goes and schedules, it's normal time and it's in their time zone. Gotcha. So, so this is what I was talking about. I wanted you to open up the calendar so you can actually see the layout in real time. Okay. And you can see strategy call consultation call so that's what you can change so um the title and the description you can you can for sure uh change that part um to whatever okay uh, well actually for this well i guess it doesn't really matter so if they clicked on like a certain listing like 9804 excursion could I just name this 9804 excursion? And actually, actually no, because this is going to be your, your main yeah, for everything. Gotcha. For everything, yeah. Okay. So like maybe schedule um, a call or tour. Perfect. Gotcha. Class description. Do I have to have a class description? Um, I, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's required. Okay. Um, we could, we could definitely see, click Try on the it. very top. Actually, I, yeah, we can't save it yet. We got to tie it to a form, but we can see. Let's leave okay. it and see. And then the team member is already is already there, Chris Garcia. And then here you can change the starting points, so you can have it have a call scheduled every hour, every fifteen minutes, every thirty, every thirty minutes, every like you can change it there every five minutes. So, gotcha. whatever works best for you. And then the hour, the duration, and then if you want a buffer in between. Um, 30 minutes. Perfect. I don't normally put a buffer because okay. um, it throws off my calendar. Okay. So if someone goes and tries to schedule a call at 1130, there's a buffer which won't allow them to schedule at 7 at 1130. It'll have them try to schedule at 1145 because because I put a 15 minute buffer. So I don't do, I don't do the buffer. You don't need to do the buffer. Okay. So available hours, that's obviously, what is that? That'd be 9 a.m. if you left it there. That'd be 9 a.m. Central. So, um, Oh, is this for – that, that no, this is Eastern time? Yeah, that's showing Eastern. So that's 10 a.m. So Eastern so that time. That would be 9 a.m. Gotcha. So that would be 9 a.m. my time. Yeah. So, um, is, yeah, so whatever time you want. So is it – when do you, whenever you want to, you know, 
open your doors, I guess. Is it 9 a.m.? Is it 8 a.m.? Yeah, if I wanted 9 a.m. Now oh, you got to hit that. It would be 8 a.m. your time. A. Right. Okay. I got you. So I just. Okay. Cool. I can do that. Hit the hit the zero. Yeah, right there. Perfect. That gotcha. will change that. Okay. And gotcha. then um, the sixteen. What I do is nice. I just I just pull up a military clock. Like I'll go to Google and I'll type in military time. If if you don't know this part, like I didn't know it at all in the beginning. Yeah. No, I don't at all. But um. Yeah. So so so. Oh, there 13, it is. Right there. Thirteen is one o'clock. Fourteen is two o'clock. PM. Oh, it's gotta so, be nineteen. I gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to do. I guess seven o'clock. So seven o'clock would be nineteen hundred. Now Eastern. So oh, we, yeah, we Eastern. might as well pull up a clock. Let's pull up a clock. Go to open up <laughs> tab because I'm I I get confused for sure. So just go to Google and type in military time. And then what I do is scroll down. I'll go to um. There's a link right below that I always go to scroll down a little bit more. It's that first. I think it's that first one right there. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, perfect. So, in your case, you want you want 7 p.m. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so, yes. So but. that would be that would be um, that'd be that'd be 9 p.m. So it'd be 9 p.m. Eastern. No, it'd be it'd be 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 yeah. p.m. Central, so it'd be twenty. Yeah, it'd be twenty hundred. Gotcha. Yeah, perfect. Bam. Okay, cool. I can mess with the rest. Okay, course. and then on this too, man, on the on the available dates. I mean, my my thing, it's it's totally up to you. Everyone's a little different, but I used to have mine where all those box, where all the months were checked. For example, June, July, August, and then I and then I have people go to my calendar. And let's say right now it's freaking May. Uh -huh. People are going to my calendar and scheduling a call for freaking July. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? Like, dude, come on. Yeah. Dude. So I ended up changing mine and only, only, and, and, and I make it a, I make it a, a personal, you know, responsibility to check this every, every 15 days. So I literally only like right now, if you go to my calendar, the, the it goes out to the 30th. And then, and then, and then, on, and then on, on on June first, for example, I'll have I'll update it, and I'll have it only go from June first to the fifteenth. Gotcha. So, right. like for for O, oh, because like for so, me, since it's already like the twenty second, is this okay? Yeah, I I would totally do that, and then and then just make a note every 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 thirty first or every thirtieth, whatever, update it, and add the next fifteen days. Gotcha. So you do That's it in fifteen. You do fifteen day increments. I do, and, and to tell you the truth, I, I don't like to. Like, I go for the next day. But just so I don't have to manually have to do it every time, like, I'll do 15 days for the hell of it. But to tell you the truth, I don't, I don't even book appointments out two days, man. Gotcha. So, okay. so if it was up to me, like, but it's just time-consuming if I have to come in here every, every two every days. Every two days, yeah, to mess with it. That so makes that's sense. What I don't want to do, but it's totally up to you. It's all preference. Okay. Yeah, I might do weekly. Maybe just do it like every Sunday. Yeah, every, perfect. Every Sunday. Do that. Actually, I think I'm going to do that too. Every Sunday, update the calendar. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's scroll down, and we got to connect it to the form. That's why it's not active yet. So scroll down. Scroll down. Actually, there it is there. So all we needed to do was add, add the actual times. That's what it was. So perfect. The form is there, and we can edit the name of that form. But the form is there. So let's scroll to the very top. And then let's hit – actually, damn, dude, I think we got to activate the form. Okay, so here's – damn, here's what we got to do then. we got to activate the form first. That's, that's, that's good to know. It's the form that needs to be activated first, and then, and then it'll allow us to save it. So let's see if we can just do this. Hover over my forms to the left. Just hover of it. Don't click it yet. Ho hover it and right-click and open a new tab. Yeah, open link in new tab. And then let's, let's update this form real quick. So it's the calendar form, the course calendar to the oh, very right. No, to the very right. That the three dots. Oh, right here. Yeah, click on that one. And click on edit. And then edit. And let's go through this real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so here on the, this is for the calendar, so we for sure want their phone number, but you can always change it. You can ask for all kinds of information. But on a landing page, I only ask for name and email. On a calendar form, name, email, and phone number. So, but you can always change it and get creative with it, but, but you don't need to. So hit save and next. And then the confirmation page is, is set up. So perfect, single, single opt-in. The success page is the thank you page. So as they go and schedule an appointment, they go to a thank you page, a thank you for a, a confirmation, thank you for scheduling. So that's already in place. So hit save and next. And then um, this right here is a welcome message. So hit the change. You could put, um, and this is hit send a welcome email. You can choose not to send one or to send one, but I for sure want to send one. And then, so now you see right here, because we changed it in my integrations earlier, by default, your email is there. So the send and the reply. So hit the green button, save, and then save and next. And this right here is where you would just write out that, that simple email. Hey, Dave, thank you so much for scheduling a call. I just got the confirmation. I look forward to speaking to you. Hey, in the meantime, you may want to do this, 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 and that. So I'll write out something simple, and this is just a thank you for, for scheduling type of email. But what I also do here, I might as well show you this here. Click on advanced in the in the top, the blue one. Yeah, click that, click that and go to advanced. So now we can go into templates, design templates. This is where I'll simply, I can look at full templates and look at all the ones that Kartra has already in place. And you can just simply scroll down and you'll see a bunch of different templates. I can click and drag and build everything around that one. I can edit images, whatever, just like a page. So okay. I can do that or I can simply build my own. And so that's when you'll just go back, hit the, hit the um, full templates, hit that left arrow. And, and then I can just scroll down and I can start building my own. So I can grab a headline, I can grab buttons, I can grab text. I can, I can um, yeah, click on it. So I can, I can grab different headlines, click on it, drag it. And that becomes the headline. And then, and then right below, I, I can hit headlines in the top, hit that left arrow, go back. Yeah, and then I can go down, I can hit text, and I can drag, drag the body of text over, drop it. Gotcha. And then, and then hit the left arrow again next to text. And then what I can also do is I can grab images. Um, I can grab, um, yeah, something like that. I can drag that over. So I can get kind of fancy with it. Um, and what I normally do is I'll create a template and then I save it just like I did the footer. Gotcha. And I'll use the same one over and over and over just to make stuff easier. And you can always delete, right. you know what I mean? And one thing I also do for this is to the very left, scroll down, go to footers. I'll right. for sure yeah. grab a, um, um, you can scroll down even more, scroll down. Can you go down? Yeah, there we go. So um, if you go down even further, you should see. Um, yeah, it's not letting me get past. Uh, is it sitting right here maybe? Footers, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So I'll just grab a footer and I'll, and I'll make sure I, you know, I save that one. Grab it to the very bottom, perfect. Gotcha. And then I'll, I'll hook all that up and then I'll save as template. And then oh, I'll right just that one over and over and over. Yeah. Gotcha. So just like you dragged everything else, Mm -hmm. Once you save it as a template, then it'll be to, so. Click on footer, footers in the top left, the arrow at the back. You'll see it um, scroll all the way to the very top. You'll see it right there in my templates. If so I hit save template. If you hit save template, it'll be right there, and then I'll just click on my templates in the next email, and then. Uh, gotcha. And then so it would be right here. Actually, you could save save as template right now, just for the heck of it. And then click on my templates and it'll, it'll be right there. So email number two and on, I'll just keep using the same. And I, and, and it might not be the same layout, but, it, but I, I save it because I for sure want the footer. So right. even if I have to delete the three images, that's fine. But at least I have that footer and I don't have to keep doing the damn footer. because that, That's time consuming. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, and, and then also on the footer, I take out that little envelope because there's, there's no need for it email one but I'll, I'll leave Facebook Twitter and Instagram okay. that's kind of the only three that you can actually go with actually okay so I'll, I'll 
end up deleting that email and then saving it and then that, there's the template. So that's email. So scroll to the very top, put a subject line real quick and just save it and then you can just come back in here and edit. And what I, what I also do a lot, and you'll notice this because you're on one of my lists, as you get my emails, I'm always using your first name. Right. So I'll always call you out by your first name, and that is in dynamic variables. So if you click on that drop down, you'll see that, and you can just copy that, and that's what populates that lead's name. So you can paste it right there, and boom, that would be the name of the lead. Gotcha. Okay, and, cool. And I'll put like, I'll put like first name, I'll put John, comma, did you look at the listing? Or did you get the last photos of the listing or whatever? You know, and, and, and that that's crazy powerful. And it wouldn't be a capital D, it'd be lowercase d. But, but little random short subject lines like, like I just mentioned. Right. Is what catches their attention. Okay. Did you look at the listing? And then question mark. And then, and then maybe my next email tomorrow, Hey John, did you get my, my email yesterday? Like, like little short catchy ass ones that make them think that make, it makes them stop in their track actually. Yeah. As they're scrolling through their emails, looking at all their damn junk mail, they're like, they see that one and they're like, it throws them off. Right. You know, so, so you want to try to make that as, as catchy and as short and as simple as, as possible. Um, so hit save. Okay. And then save and next. And then, and then, so anyone who subs anyone who opts in is subscribed to that list, the appointments. This, uh, yeah. So they're subscribed to that list. Anyone who fills okay. out this specific form is on that list. So that's fine. And then scroll down. And then they're also going to be on a sequence, but this is not where we set up the sequence. We'll set it up in the sequences. So hit save and next. And then save and next. And then we're done with that. So now let's go back to the other tab, the calendar. We might have to refresh this. Hit refresh. We might have to, at least we didn't get to the very end. In fact, we couldn't even get to the end. It doesn't allow us to go forward after that. Okay. Because now we have to, um, so hit save and next. Okay, so hit change. Okay, so now, um, yeah, you might have to just change that again. Damn it. And okay. I can mess with I can mess with the times and all okay. that. Toward the very bottom, make sure that that form is is there now. So click on yeah, the very bottom. Oh, this okay, one. so there's the form. Okay, so let's see if we can save it now. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, go to the very top. Okay, perfect. Now we can save. So hit the green one. Perfect. Now we're good. Okay, so save and next. And then communications. This right here is the, so, ch so change email confirmation and reminder. So the first one, the first email that we just got done working on, okay. that's the first email. Thank you for, thank you for scheduling. This is the reminder. Gotcha. So just like with you, you, when you, when we, when you scheduled yesterday, you got, you got a, a confirmation right away. And then an hour before our call, you got another one, right? Mm -hmm. So that's this part right here. So hit the change, get rid of my email, put your email. Okay, cool. So that's good. So hit save. And then the booking confirmation, change that. And there's already a layout there, but you can just um, um, hit the pencil, hit edit. And you could just kind of edit around it. So strategy call confirmed, you can obviously change that. You can change all the text. What you don't want to really change is, um, is the event hosted by scheduled time. Oh, right. And then, and then what I did is I just put, cause this is what I wrote. This is, this is actually the confirmation email that you got when you mm -hmm. sent online. Yeah. Damn. Is that military time? Is that a freaking capital or is that a capital I that I put right there? Yeah. Oh shit! I gotta edit that. I didn't even know. I I didn't even notice that in the emails that you sent me though. But yeah. Hey. Okay. Cool. So then here, obviously, this is what I that, that's my Zoom link. So I use Zoom a lot. Um, yeah. In your case, whether it's a phone call, you know, you can just write that out right there. But um, this is you can edit all this, 
And then, and then again, in my case, what I just got done, you know, kind of mentioning is the template. So I would grab, I would go to design templates to the left. I would grab my templates in the pink and then I would just drag over mine. Gotcha. So I would just make it everything, you know, consistent. And I, I would do the same thing for every email. Gotcha. You know, so that's that. And then, so let's, let's get out of this part. Let's go to, um, go to the very top. And then you can always save, you can always send a test as well. So the very, very bottom, you can send a test and, and make sure you get that email. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll hit the, yeah, so we'll go to the very top, hit edit, the green one, and then hit save, the green one, and then email reminder, this right here, so the booking confirmation message, um, so the first, the first email that went out, the welcome, that was, that was the, um, that was a thank you for scheduling. And then this booking confirmation, why is there two? I know, now I'm a little thrown off, but, but I, the one goes out right away. Mm -hmm. And then this booking one, click on change again. For the booking one. Yeah. Click on that. Actually, the, actually my bad. The, the other one went out in my forms. The other one went out in my forms. So what we can do is we could just turn that one off and have it go out through the calendar. Gotcha. That's what it is. That's what it is. So in my forms, we don't need that first email. Don't click on it yet. Don't click on it yet. But um, we'll, we'll actually, you know what? You could just turn this one off. Turn this one off. Put no, don't send booking confirmation. Click save. And then, we'll, and then because that first one went out and then, and then in the Sorry. email reminder, that's what goes out an hour before, but hit change. You can always change it. It can go. It can go out an hour before. Click on the, the pencil. You can go an hour before. You can go a day before. You can go freaking two hours before. Gotcha. Okay. So you can change that that time at the very. Can you change top. it right here. Yeah. Okay. That's just a nice. reminder. Nice. Perfect. So hit save, and then um and then at the very bottom just yeah or hit the green one save. And then save and next. Save and next. And then customer support, you don't need that. Save and next. And then automation, save and next. At the very bottom, and you're good. So now the calendar is good. So now what you can do is hit that pencil and maybe maybe take out or no, the bottom to, to the yeah, that right there, right there. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. So it's already the dot carcher.com forward slash calendar. So that whole VCQ. I would get rid of it. I would, I would put, I don't know. I, I think something has to go there. Actually see if you can hit the check mark. Yeah. Yes, see, something it. has to go there, but, um, damn it. It already says calendar. Could I do like, um, I don't know, like Remax or. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that, that is your calendar link. And you can use that link, that calendar, man, for anything and everything. So if I were you, I'd probably save, copy that, open up a tab, and just bookmark it. That's your calendar. Okay, nice. And then once I edit it, of course, it'll look different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, how do I save this as a bookmark? Is just hit that star in the top right in the URL bar, hit that star, and then just, you can um, hit the folder, hit the drop down. And just maybe go to um, bookmark bar. Bookmark bar, gotcha. Yeah. And then you can create folders as well. But hit that, and then um, now if you hit the three dots the three. at the very right, over here. Yeah, you'll see it in bookmarks right down. It'll be it'll be right there. So it should be. Um, which one would it be? Uh, this one, schedule a caller tour. No. Yeah, that's it right there. This one. Yeah, that's your calendar. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect. Cool, good. Okay, so go back to um, go back to Kartra and then go back to – what's that second tab that we had open? That one? Okay. Uh, my forms. So go to, go to my forms and go to the calendar one real quick, and let's, get, let's, let's turn off the um, – actually, no, you have, you have the welcome message going out. So that's fine. 
But what we got to do now is we have to um, go to my pages and click on the thank you page. We got to we got to make sure that that button is going to the calendar now. So click on click on the three dots. Open it up. Edit. Okay, hit edit, the green one, and let's just hover over that blue button, and let's open up that blue button. Okay, cool. So scroll to the bottom, hover over that, pencil, edit, yeah, there we go. And then just let's see if we can connect the calendar now. So click on link, and then scroll down. Bam, there it is. Nice. Cool. So apply. Okay, we're good. So now, did we put our pixel on this page? Uh, I don't think so. Click on settings to the left. Yeah, save progress, perfect. And then um, settings, over here. and then tracking code, from the very bottom, I think that's my pixel, so let's, um, yeah, let's just take that, actually, did we, did we put it there, is that, I can't remember if that's, yeah, I'm not sure either, if this let's just, let's just do, get rid of it, let's just do it again, okay, so go back to pixel, yeah, perfect. And then um, set up in the top right. Install Pixel. Bam. Man. There you go. Yeah, manual Man. that. And then copy that. And then paste it and then hit enter twice. And now here's what we're going to do go back to the ads manager, click on done, the blue one. Yeah, go, th go there. Click on continue the blue one, and then click on manually add event code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to narrow it in and go even further with the labeling and hit the drop down real estate. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put, um, scroll down. This is going to be lead. Oh, lead. Yeah. So yeah. shade that blue to gray and then copy. Perfect. And then go put it over there. Paste it. Perfect. Apply and then save progress and then publish live. Do you have um, the Facebook Pixel Helper plugin installed? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. So the Facebook Pixel Helper, all it does is it, I use it for me personally. Yeah. Publish live. I use it for my pages personally, just so I can know that my pixel is installed correctly. But what it also allows you to do is it allows you to just track anyone who's tracking you so as you're on the web as you're online and you're just randomly going through websites whether it's amazon or freaking ebay it doesn't even matter the pixel it's a little plug-in that will be up there by the color pick eyedropper and you'll see it turn colors so if it if it okay. turns blue that page that you're on is pixeling you mm. now i don't care who pixels me i don't that, that doesn't matter at all like i don't care about that but what i care is when i test my pages yeah I want to make sure that the thing lights up so I know that my pixel was installed correctly. Gotcha. So I use it for my own personal testing. Okay. So um, let's let's get out of here. Actually, get the page link. Actually, that's fine. We'll just um, – I think it's already open. Yeah, it's already open. So just let's get out of here. Let's return to dashboard. Hit the green button. Return to dashboard. And let's just install the pixel helper just so you can have it and you can start seeing these pages for yourself. Okay. So go to – open up another tab. And just um, go to Google and type in uh, Facebook Pixel Helper. Perfect. It's that top one. Just click on that one. And then you're going to um, add to Chrome. And so that's all it is. So, um, yeah, add extension. So you'll see at the top right, once it, um, yeah, perfect. Bam. So uh, as you're on any page, doesn't matter, anyone's page, any website page, if they're not pixeling you, 
you're going to see it gray. So that's why it blows my mind. I call people out all the time when I'm on these calls and people want to just talk or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they want to tell me how badass they are. Mm-hmm. And then I go to their, so it happens a lot with real estate agents. When, when, when I go to their website and it's just a random website that they may have, I'll go to their website. And because I have the Facebook pixel on my site, if it doesn't light up, I know that they're not running ads. Right. Because if you're running ads and if you're really crushing it, bro, that pixel should be installed on this page and it's not. Right. So I'm able to, you know, just, I just do it for the hell of it. Just, you know, but but again, I use it for mine. So now, now look what's going to happen now. So it's there. Uh Go to your page. So watch, go to, pull up your, pull up your schedule tour. Pull up your, um, yeah. Okay. So right now, look, it's gray, Mm -hmm. right? Refresh it and see what it turns. Mm, nice. Bam, bam. Click on it. Now it's going to tell you page view lead. Now anyone can see that if they have the Facebook pixel help or anyone random, uh-huh. they can see that too. So as I'm scrolling through the websites, as I'm saying, as I'm just looking at people's website and, and I click on that and they're pixeling it, I don't care. Like, so, so no one cares. No one cares at all. But I, again, you, you're using it for your sake, for your right. testing purposes. Right. So now you know your pixels installed correctly. Gotcha. Nice. So, okay. so, so now it's just that thank you for a scheduling page. Let's just go to that real quick. Um, let's go to go back to Kartra. And then um, now let's just work on the, the third page and then and then we're done, dude. My pages. My pages. Actually, you can exit it, Alan. There we go. Okay, so go to sure. um go to the confirmed. The call confirmed. Yeah. So with that one, what we're going to do is you can obviously change out that image. You can change the name. So change the page name. Um, You could put it in, in, in any category. It doesn't have to go listings. It could just be in no category actually, because this is a general page that um, is going to be, you know, only when people schedule a call, but confirmation call confirmation or tour confirmation. Perfect. And then, um, and then hit edit. So mainly what I really want to do over here, you can for sure change out the image. You can change out the text. You can add, you can add your footer. So let's add that same footer, um, that we have on the thank you page. You can add it here. And then we want to change the, the, the title of the, of the tab. And then we want to add the pixel. Okay. You there? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So go to um to I think it's sections and just grab the footer. Change out that footer. Um or actually what you could do is you go to my my favorite. So at the very top, scroll to the very top, favorite blocks. Yeah. Actually, you didn't say that last one. Oh, from the uh, from the landing page. Gotcha. Once you update it, then save it, and then you can drag it over here. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then let's go to click on settings, and then SEO parameters, and yeah, call confirmed. You can leave it at that if you want, or you can change it. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, cool. So hit the back arrow, and let's go to um, tracking code, and then let's go back to Facebook. Let's add that pixel. So X out of this. Actually, no, you X out of it. And then just hit setup again. Install pixel. And then manually. So we want to add a pixel to this because we want to be able to create a custom audience of everyone who lands here so we can then exclude them from any future ads. Unless it's an ad that, that, that we want them to know about, right? Then we can include them. Right. But at the same time, I don't need the same person seeing the same type of ads. Right. That makes sense. Especially if they've already scheduled a call with me. If they've already right. scheduled a call with me, then I already have them on a list and they're for sure already getting all my information. But right. again, you can include them or exclude them. That's, that's the whole purpose. Include them or exclude them and see it. 
Okay. So scroll down, paste in that pixel. Actually, yeah, delete that one. Okay. Okay. So, and then also, what we're going to do is hit enter twice, and let's go back to, and then add that. Um. So hit continue, and then manually add event, and then let's yeah, perfect. And then click on the drop down, and now what we're going to do, hit real estate, and then scroll down, and we're going to go to schedule. So. Copy that, hit done. Actually, you don't have to hit done. Yeah, paste right there, apply, save progress, publish live. <coughs> and then you can get the page link. Let's test it. So grab that. And then open up in a tab and then see what we're looking for is a pixel helper. So if we bam. Nice. So now click on it. Schedule. Schedule. So this is how you're able to segment these leads that are coming in through Facebook. Obviously, you can segment everything through through Kartra alone, but when it comes to our ad spend, since you are a freaking analytics and reporting type of guy. You got to know this stuff, right? You want to be able to know, okay, how many people scheduled an appointment? How many people actually are leads? You're going to be able to look at look look at all this through the ads manager in Facebook. Okay, nice. It's for it's for it's for reporting purposes and it's for excluding and excluding of them seeing my future ads purposes. Right, and to retarget them, like, so how do I see their information, like? Will I be able to see like their email? No, not, not when it just comes to data and, and tracking of what we're doing with the pixel. Gotcha. You're only going to get data of people who actually opt in. Gotcha. Okay. And as those people opt in, that's when you can track everything through, through, through card track. Okay. But as far as overall activity, as far as overall data, Facebook is tracking all that internally and just allowing you to, to create audiences based on which pages they landed on. Okay, I got you. So this will be a whole separate audience. These are all people inside of Facebook who scheduled an appointment. Gotcha. The other okay. people are all audiences of all people in Facebook who actually opted in and landed on my thank you page. Right. Okay. So that was a ton right there, bro. But I but but that right there we're freaking good. Like we're golden on, on that listing funnel. Okay. Perfect. So let's set up another call and I can help you go through the Facebook ad. That could be tomorrow or that could be Monday actually. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. So, okay, we'll shoot for Monday. Yes, let's shoot for Monday. And then that's when we can, we can even go live and set up, a, set up a Facebook ad on this listing. Okay, perfect, man. Cool. Cool deal. All right, Chris, reach out to me if you need anything, man. All right, David, appreciate I'll it, man. Away. All right, man. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye.